Hi, I'm Eric, and this is Adventures in Golf. And for this episode, we travel to a country that has more golfers per capita than any other country in the world. And of those, a majority of them choose to play golf inside rather than outside. Well, I came to find out why, but I'm already feeling like I have an idea. Nothing like hitting a shot on a driving range in Switzerland at 10 p.m. on a Tuesday in Korea. Please uh, introduce yourself and who you are. Sure. Yeah, uh, my name is Eric Anders Lang, and I'm the host of Adventures in Golf, and I'm happy to be here in Korea at the Golf Zone headquarters. Right about now, you're probably wondering what's going on and why does this episode look different? Well, like I just mentioned, we've just arrived at the Golf Zone headquarters in Seoul, South Korea, one of the most prominent golf simulator companies in the country, which is important when you understand that the last 20 years have seen incredible growth in the game, making Korea the third largest golf market in the world, behind the US and Japan, but with one major difference. Korea is the only country where annually more rounds of golf are played on screen than on course. What we're gonna do today is uh, play a little bit of screen golf. We're gonna play a match? Yeah. Oh, jeez. We have to. <laughs> When we arrived at Golf Zone headquarters, we were greeted by Eric Chun, a pro golfer playing on the KPGA Tour, who apparently I'll be playing in a match against. How quickly am I going to lose is my question. How many times have you played string <laughs> golf? <laughs> well, I actually, uh, I have a simulator in Austin okay. in my office, um, but I don't play screen golf nearly that much in okay. comparison. Turns out this location doubles as a studio, and just moments later, I'm suited up with a microphone, the cameras are rolling, and we sit down for a quick interview before we play. Why are you here today? In the United States, and actually in, I guess, most of the countries uh, where golf is played, usually that's outside predominantly, on a golf course with grass, and you walk or take a cart. Korea is one of the few countries where there are more uh, indoor golf experiences than Starbucks. So I'm here to like understand how that has a cultural impact on the people that play golf and how it kind of shapes what the game itself is. For people that's just starting out uh, playing golf, screen golf is a lot more approachable, a lot more friendly. You're not sweating as much or you're not cold if it's cold outside. So I think that's the popularity of, of one of the reasons why it's getting popular sure. in, in Korea. I agree. Are you ready to play uh, I'm ready. some golf? I'm ready. So we're playing uh, Beth Page Black. Okay. Uh, One of my reasons. favorites. I'll give you a few pointers. Okay. On the way. Cool. Unless you're beating me. <laughs> and then and then we'll, we'll see how it goes. You'll win. You'll win. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe, Maybe not. not. We have you conceded about one meter. Ten yeah. meters. 1.5 meters. <laughs> 10 meters. So. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Nine. Nine meters. <laughs> now, what do you say? Two? One and a half? One and a half. Okay, all right. One and a half and one and a half. You're going to do all my negotiating from now on. <laughs> Nice shot. Oh wow, it's got the weight transfer on your feet. Yeah, so they have a sensor here. Nice roll, dude. I'm a little nervous. Not so good. Why did it go all the way over there? Do I get mulligans or no? Do you want one? Yeah. Can I have one <laughs> mulligan? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wait, thank man. you, thank you, thank you. It might be a little far left, but speed. at least I got it up there. All right, right around you. Okay, good. There we go. I, some... I hit the first shot just to make you feel comfortable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that should be my new trick. It's like I hit a really bad shot, and then I'm like, can I please have a mulligan? <laughs> I think we really did some good things for this, uh, making the golf industry grow. This is Minku Kim, director of global business at Golfson and we sit down in one of the 5,000 commercial locations that GolfSon has in Korea to talk more about what makes screen golf so popular here. Do you think GolfSon is one of the reasons for that, or did it 
or is its success a benefactor of the fact that Koreans love golf? Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, which is the chicken or the egg? I think we it's both. <laughs> I think we made golf a lot of easy for a lot of people. Our golf simulator is like twenty dollars per game. Right. Yeah. It's right next door. When you go out, come out of this office, there's one of one of the stores there, one of the stores there. You can walk 15 minutes and play golf, have a beer with your friend, and go to your home. That's very easy to assess for it. If you want to play golf outside, you, have, you need a car, you need another members to play golf with it, you have to drive. It's a whole day sport, but Golf Simulator has made it very accessible for everyone. So if you're in the rough, you got to put it in the rough. OK, on the front one? Yeah. This is great. It's like a uh, cheese board of golf shots here. <laughs> Oh wow, you smoked it. Hard to beat that. The turf is moving here, I don't know if you noticed that. We had success factors that could overcome the competitors. One is our swing plate. As you see, the moving plate. Oh my. Oh man. I got lucky, I got lucky. Another reason was we were the first one to open an online tournament in Korea. And it was very popular and it made a lot of people to enjoy our golf simulators, to compete in it and for fun. Oh, that was terrible. Golf Zone holds over 300 tournaments a day where top qualifiers can earn a chance to compete in weekend events right here at the headquarters. The tournaments have become so successful that in recent years, Golf Zone has expanded them internationally, including a North American tournament with over $10,000 in prizes. Oh. <laughs> well, I actually might lose today. But hang on, that's not everything. In 2012, Golf Zone started a G Tour and a W G Tour, a 10 tournament series for Korean men and women, respectively. The season is broadcast on television in front of a live studio audience with season purses that continue to reach over $1 million. In fact, the G Tour even attracts Korean PGA and LPGA Tour professionals, depending on their schedule and status. I'm gonna play for real now. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get in trouble, I guess. Let's go. Oh, what a kick. My guy. What a kick. Please go, go in. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. That was a really good shot. <laughs> Does Golf Zone have any interaction with uh, outdoor golf? Yes, actually we operate 19 golf courses in Korea. And that's not a conflict of interest? Uh, when it rains, our simulator works very well. Uh, when the weather is very good outside, the golf course is very good, so we get we are happy every day. All right, last hole, Eric. Let's do it. A shot. It's too high again. Wow, beautiful. You look like a pro here. <laughs> but the way you're driving it. I'll move it, to Korea, if that's what you're saying. saying I'll move here. <laughs> nice. Oh. 30 feet. Hit it. Wow. That was fun. Appreciate it. Your initial thoughts on today's game and screen golf. Screen golf, uh, just as addictive as real golf, you know? Like, you just want to get better. I felt that today because I sucked at it. <laughs> so I think golf is like a really social game. Simulator golf, wherever you're playing indoors, it doesn't take that away. In fact, it. I haven't seen enough yet, but I would imagine that indoor golf and simulator golf in general, you have more of an opportunity to play with friends and, and play with people that you wouldn't normally get onto the golf course yeah. because of the cost and the time and the you know yeah, uh, yeah. learning curves. Yeah. Take friends to go play screen golf because it gives you all the things that real golf gives yeah. you. Before leaving, we head up to the roof with former golf professional, Sue Kim, who wants to show us a special view of Golf Zone. Oh, wow. This is so cool. 
<laughs> oh, it makes my stomach itch. <laughs> but it's really cool. Yeah, a Sue moved really to South great. Korea four years ago, but even in that short time, she has seen the interest in golf grow. As far as just like the incredible amount of people in Korea that play golf, like how did that happen? Why is golf so popular here? Since 98, we're Sari Pak won the U.S. Women's Open. That's where the boom started, I think. Sari Pak became the first South Korean golf star when she won the U.S. Women's Open as a 20-year-old rookie in 1998. Her victory came after a 20-hole Monday playoff where her, quote, never give in attitude prevailed. Her win resonated deeply with her home country, which was facing a financial crisis. With high unemployment and a weak currency, the people of Korea needed something to believe in. And Suri's dramatic win became just that. That actually helped the whole nation would get over the financial problem as a nation. She gave us hope. Sari's win and subsequent career also ignited a passion for golf. In fact, a large population of new golfers, including Sue, became known as Sari's kids because they began playing after watching her succeed. And it's these same golfers that are now dominating on the international stage. I still remember, you know, Sari Park winning the whole thing and then everybody got into golf. Like every one of my friends like, oh, I'm starting golf, you know? This really? is June Kim, our guide, driver, translator, and whatever else we need him to so, be. Yeah. Th that's when I f got my first lesson, golf lesson. Okay. My mom took me to the, this guy and, you know, just playing golf. I'm not good, but you know. <laughs> but you love it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. So where are we going now? We are going to a cacao. You have a Kakao app downloaded yes, yeah. from yesterday, right? It's like WhatsApp. It's like WhatsApp. In Korea. Yeah. Kakao Talk is a messaging app that is also used for gaming, online payments, ride hailing, and even login verification for other major websites. Launched in 2010 by its parent company, Kakao Games, the app is used by over 90% of Korea. Yes, I downloaded it. This is where we're going. This is where we're going. <laughs> And in 2017, Kakao Games purchased the second largest screen golf operator in the country and launched Friends Screen, which immediately began integrating the wildly popular emojis used on its messaging platform. How is Friends Screen different from all of the other simulators in Korea? This is Dennis, the store manager, and he tells me that Kakao Golf is always doing new things to attract golfers, like starting a screen golf academy to teach golf lessons, and recently launching a golf clothing and product line that, of course, features the popular emoji characters. This is a head cover, and these are all based on emojis within the texting platform? Exactly. Right Whoa. Here. Get the right. Now that's Ryan with a visor. That's Ryan with a visor, yeah. This is go. Ryan with a golf club. There you go. Who are you texting right now, your wife? My wife. <laughs> So, so you use cacao every day to text. Yeah. Like like the rest of the most of the she world. She just answered right now. <laughs> She's saying why are you texting okay. me? Yeah, why Ask her who her favorite emoji is. Yes. Okay, send me send me your favorite guy. So this is all of the different versions of Ryan. There you go. Yes. Oh wow. Oh he's very sad here. Yeah. That's when he made a double bogey. Yeah. <laughs> is it successful? Oh yeah. People love it. Yeah, people love it. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they come to Kakao Screen Golf. Really? Yeah. Why? Because you can see the characters in the screen. Yeah. If, you, if you make para, the, the emoji comes out. <laughs> if you make bogey, the emoji comes out. So, yeah. so everyone's familiar with all of the emojis. Yes. What's your favorite? Um, Kon. Kon. Yeah. With the green one. Looks the, like an alligator. An alligator. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So this is just your normal lunch break? Oh. Yeah. Would you call yourself a golfer? Um, just a beginner. A beginner. Actually, I started um, golf like four months ago. So. Oh, cool. Kind of. Welcome. So would you say most golfers here are serious or not serious? Not serious. Just, just playing for fun, playing around kids with, with friends. Have you ever played golf outside? Yeah. How many times? Uh, twice. Twice. You know, Rush. Yeah. And how many times have you played no. screen golf? Um, it's a ten. Ten times. Yeah. Okay. So you're new to golf. You have a good golf swing. Oh. Uh, yeah, good swing. Yeah, but I, I need to practice more. <laughs> yeah.
Earlier I mentioned that there are more indoor golf facilities in Korea than there are Starbucks. And if screen golf is attracting everyone from the complete novice all the way up to the professional, it's easy to see why. But what if you combined the two together? What we're talking about is the next place to visit on our trip. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. This is different. Welcome to Backyard. Along with golf simulators, this place has everything you could ever need to improve your game. A putting area, a chipping area, and not one, but two bunker practice areas. One for fairway bunkers and one for greenside bunkers. And a coffee shop so that you can stay up all night long and hone your skills. The whole idea here was basically to have a coffee shop mm -hmm. with golf. Is that is that really the idea? Yeah, we need to some uh, benefit for a non-golfer. So right. we are thinking about the cafe. So oh, we are so cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it feels like casual. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, and so we're gonna get some coffee. Mm -hmm. Look at this. And I love this. So <laughs> this is the you, the beans here have different names. So you can get the tea shot bean, which is from Bali. The second shot bean, which is from Ethiopia, Brazil, and Indonesia. Or you can get the approach shot or the birdie shot. So this space is a branded space that QED owns. Uh, yeah. Uh, and is there only one backyard or is there more? Is, is it first time? First time. Yeah, yeah. Ah, and is it new? Yeah. Yes. How new? How new? Just one month. One month. Yeah, oh, right. congratulations. Yes. Like Golf Zone and Cacao, QED is another leading golf simulator company. With close to 700 stores throughout Korea, QED is now branching out from the more common simulator space in hopes that it will bring in more customers. How is QED mm -hmm. and Cacao and uh, Golf Zone different? Because they're not all the uh, same. Uh, yes. Different. Yeah, what's the difference? Uh, um, we have a technology, an uh, original technology for a, a board calculation. Th that technology is our own our technology. But they are uh, another brand is um, buy a copyright is buying. Copyright is buying. Ah. Yeah. But we are our companies, we have own technology for a um, board calculation for um, any golf swing and side of spin and back spin club movements. Right. Yeah. We are a very technology company. Technology is another reason why there are so many indoor golf spaces here. Over the last century, Korea has become a global leader for information and communication technology, which is why the simulators being produced here are becoming more and more realistic as the technology advances, which in turn gives businesses more opportunities to innovate. So it seems like in Korea, the businesses in golf are leading the future. Mm -hmm. Whereas like in most other countries, they're building golf courses like in Vietnam, for example. Yeah. Um, but ultimately that's just sort of very similar to the way golf already is. But even like in Scotland and America, like there's not a tremendous amount of like innovative golf businesses. It's mostly just like apparel, golf, yeah. apparel, golf. Yeah. But in Korea, it's like, how do we really get into the future of golf? And it, and it seems like mostly that's the businesses are doing a good job of that. Yeah. yeah, sure. The Backyard is a prime example of an innovative golf business, and it's time to check out their vision for the future of golf. I've got my coffee. It's pretty good, by the way. And now I see, I don't know what this it's is. A 1.5 meter right now. OK. So when I go. Swing arc. Oh, swing, swing arc. arc. Yeah. There's a rhythm. What? There's a rhythm. Yeah. Oh, my That's goodness. A That's a rhythm. Oh, oh, okay. You're training? Yeah. For like this? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> dun, okay. Dun, and bum, bum. Okay. Wait, I gotta try it now. Dun, 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 dun. That's for the So I go. Dun, 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 dun. Rhythm, rhythm. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. dun, dun. Ooh, dun, dun. Okay. I mean, I better make this. This is high tech. Whoa, look at what just happened to the ground. You ready? Being tested? Hey, yeah, you're being tested right now. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh wow, this is like a game, yeah. This, yeah. this is like stressful. Okay. This is like Squid Game. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. This shows you. Wait, does it know where I missed the mate? No, it's success. Oh, it, it yeah. knows if I missed the pot or made yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's scary. Whoa. So you are good at downhill to straight. Downhill right to left. Yeah. That's my best okay. one. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Make sure you delete all of this. Throw it away, please. I don't ever want to see that again. <laughs> what are we going to go look at now? Yeah. I will say on these very special things. Okay. That don't make. Make, don't make sand dust. Oh, okay. so it stays clean. Yeah, clean. Very expensive sand. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make from, sure to put some in my pockets. Australia deserts. Oh, really? Deserts. Desert. Wow, they ship it from Australia. Yeah. Let's go take a look. Okay, let's go. Fairway bunker shot, training zone. Hit it this way. Wow. And the fairway wood and iron. And oh, and there's a, there's a simulator here? Yes. Whoa. So. All right, so we're going to see a five iron out of the fairway bunker. How far do we think it should go? Repeat. 200 yards. 200 yards? Okay, that's, that's optimistic. But we'll try. No, 80. 80. I need to work on my fairway bunkers. Yeah. <laughs> 100 yards. No, no, no. You heat. Oh, heavy? Yeah. This, this is like golf on the moon. Yeah. You don't ever need to go outside. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way I would drive an hour and a half to go play golf if I had this. Yes. The building I worked in or near my house, no <laughs> way. Play whole day? Yeah. Oh, nice. I felt good. Uh, 142. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever hit yeah. out of a bunker. So we... Inside. Uh, sorry? No, you're okay. So we explain here and here oh. and here. Try. Wow, I've never practiced that. I don't even practice in real bunkers. Oh. Nice. Did it. All right. Wow. What is the degree? I love two glasses. 54? Uh, you're you're wet? Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe it's for the whole way. Almost you die. <laughs> <laughs> That's the core of the trip. That's the core of the trip. <laughs> Almost you die. Almost you die. <laughs> and with that, we come to the end of another episode of Adventures in Golf. While I could truly play here all day, there's a lot more golf out there for me to see. And with each new experience, I bring with me a golf bag full of everything I learned on all my previous adventures. And while the bag may be getting heavy, it's not full yet. <laughs>